was Liberty Hall, Columbia Hall, the main building, and the mail that, uh, and then there, about a mile up the road, there was, um, this is, there was the, uh, real old house, old farmhouse, nice house. They took me there. And, and my father said I was going to stay there with Mrs. Summers for the summer. And she would teach me how to behave. She took little, and she did. Took, she took me in her room once, and I remember she said, Mrs. Summers, she had a 16-year-old daughter, but she said to me, Eleanor, she said, I know something about your wife and what it was like before you came here. And then she told me they were moving me up to the main ground and what was to be expected of me there, how I should behave. You know, it was, when my father did that for me, it was the best thing he ever did. Mrs. Summers. Hmm. I wonder, there might have been six or seven of us girls there ready to go into a freshman. Whatever became, there was Lucille Wall, I remember. Lucille Wall? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. And I went away, and then I learned later years about least Lucille, Lucille Wall. I knew it wasn't the same person. But Willie Lee was from the South. Willie Lee. And she was so nice. She's a nice girl. And, uh, Laura, she was from North Carolina. Oh, scary. Huh? Gotcha. Is that lightning I just saw? You know what I saw the, all week? It's getting a lot of rain. Rain, rain, go away. Come back I another come day. Back another day. I used to stand by my window at night looking out the window when it's raining. And I used to say that. Rain, rain. Go to Spain. <laughs> Come back again. <laughs> you can't stay so long. <laughs> Come back when you can't stay so long. Yeah. <laughs> I made up my own song. I hear what I used to do. So I used to get mad at me. She used to sneak cigarettes. And she'd send me to the store and I would get a pack of cigarettes. And I'd keep the matches. <laughs> but she never asked for them. And I'd go back and I can remember standing in my room lighting them up. <laughs> if you ever did that, I had I, I killed you. I used to like this. I used to think that an angel would come and get me away from there. I guess an angel did come and hit me. But the best thing my father ever did for me was send me to Sarapak. I often wonder what would have happened to me if I stayed there. They wanted me to stay there. They wanted me to go down south and become the missionary down there. You know what they used to do? The missionaries had these bonnets and their black dresses, and they used to go into bars, sell these, give these pamphlets out about not drinking and so forth. <laughs> Throw you out of here. With a basket <laughs> for money. <laughs> yeah, you could stay here and drink, just give me yeah, money. Yeah, I would have been doing that. <laughs> they give you money just to get you out of there. Get me out of here. <laughs> Demon booze. <laughs> Oh. Well, you think back on your life. I don't like that right there, Pat. I don't want you to get caught in any bad weather. Well, I'll be leaving in a few minutes. I mean, Not that I want you to go, because I know I'm enjoying your visit more than ever. I'm enjoying your talk. <laughs> back in the ancient days, those were the days. I wish Aunt Sadie had lived so you could have known Aunt Sadie. She was, a, she was so good to me. 
so good. Mm. She and Ed, you know, she was like they used to tell me she played the piano beautifully. And uh, you know, she was in Jersey City. She was quite the really growing up with her parents and everything. She was a society girl. Yeah, she, that's 